Hi children, my name is Sashant. In lower classes, you've learned that the area of the triangle is half into base into height. The area of square is side into side. The area of rectangle is length into breadth. And the area of quadrilateral is half into the diagonal into sum of the perpendiculars of the diagonal. We had made use of the formulae to calculate the areas. Today, we shall learn how to prove or justify some of the formulae we have been using so far. Look at this figure. The shaded part of this triangle contains two sets of points. One, the set of points belonging to the interior of triangle PQR. Two, the set of points belonging to the triangle itself. That is, the points lying on the sides PQ, QR and PR of the triangle PQR. The union of triangle and its interior is called the triangular region. Similarly, the region shown in the diagram denotes the quadrilateral ABCD and its interior. This is called quadrilateral region. Therefore, we conclude that the area is connected with the region. So, we say that a polygonal region is the union of a polygon and its interior. A polygonal region can be divided into two or more triangular regions. In this diagram, the quadrilateral region ABCD is divided into two triangular regions ADC and ABC or we can say that the quadrilateral region ABCD is the union of two triangular regions ABC and ADC. In this diagram, the quadrilateral PQRS is divided into seven triangular regions. We can also observe that any two of the seven triangular regions intersect. Their intersection is a line segment or a single point set. Look at the diagram. Is the shaded region a polygonal region? Is it possible to divide the shaded region into some triangular regions such that if any two of the triangular regions intersect, their intersection is either a line segment or a single point? Yes, we can divide the given polygonal region into eight triangular regions as shown in the figure. Good. Therefore, the shaded region is divided into eight triangular regions and also the intersection of these triangles is either a point or a line segment. Therefore, the shaded region is a polygonal region. In this diagram, we cannot say the region AFDCHB is a polygonal as the union of the two triangle regions ABE and DCG is neither a line segment nor a point. But we can convert this region into a polygonal region by joining H and F, A and H and C and F as shown in the figure. Now let us prove a theorem. A diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two triangles of equal area. Given ABCD is a parallelogram and AC is its diagonal, we have to prove area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle CDA. Now, what can you say about the sides of the parallelogram? Opposite sides of the parallelogram are equal. Therefore, side AB is equal to side CD and side BC is equal to side AD. That's good. In triangles ABC and CDA, AB is equal to CD and BC is equal to AD. Also, the diagonal AC is common to both the triangles. So, the triangles ABC and CDA are congruent under the SSS congruency. By area congruent axiom, if two triangles are congruent, they have the same area. So, here, Applying that we have area of triangle ABC 
is equal to area of triangle CDA. Now let us learn a theorem on the area of parallelogram. 